In the United States, approximately four and a half million people are, are afflicted with Alzheimer's and worldwide roughly 35 million. It's anticipated that by the middle of this century, more than 100 million people worldwide will have this disease. There have been many efforts to develop drugs that were thought to modify the history of Alzheimer's disease, and sadly, all of them have failed. And one of the reasons for this may be that the stage in which they were evaluated, which is in patients who already have the disease, may be the wrong stage. In this study, we sought to find a set of circulating molecules in the blood of individuals who were cognitively normal that would allow us to predict who in the next several years will develop cognitive impairment or Alzheimer's disease. And that is exactly what we found. This is a very exciting time. This observation that we are reporting suggests that we may be able to use this diagnostic to enroll subjects to test for the first time whether disease-modifying therapies in those at risk, not those who already have the disease, might be able to delay or perhaps abrogate that group of individuals from developing Alzheimer's disease.